It is another day and another episode to review. What is good, everyone? It is your boy Misa here back with another episode of Anime Review. And today, we're going to be talking about Oh My, I Am Not Your Sister. It is one of the seven anime that we're going to be reviewing for the winter 2023 season. If I sound a little um, more quiet, it is currently 4 a.m. Um, where I live. So I... I'm recording this before I have to go to work because I have to go to work early today. So, but that's beside the point. You don't want to know about my boring life. You guys want to know about what happened in the first episode of Oh My, I'm Not Your Sister. So, this, <clears throat> I'm going to say, when I initially got this, I thought that this anime was going to be just a pure, a fucking pure smart face. A pure, like, actuality of just not great content and not great anything right i thought this was either going to be either not great in terms of just just the the amount of the sexualization and listen i want to i want to put this out there because i feel like in the last episode review i did for um inokai i'm i'm now your dog uh i feel like (laughs) i've made it seem that i'm not a fan of sexualization in anime i'm okay with sexualization anime. In fact, as long as the circumstances are right, I encourage it, you know, like all the characters are proper age, the setting is the right proper for it. Like it has to I feel like it has to make sense. It's it's the fourth sexualization for me that's kinda like a little iffy. If done okay is fine. And you know what? Surprisingly surprisingly I there was like little sexualization in the show, which I was I was surprised, given the premise, given the aspect of it, given, like, the setting and just the, like, the dialogue that they were going to go with. I thought this was going to be an extremely, like, just, like, bullshit, like, hype, like, 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 lewd after lewd after lewd shit. But, like, there were scenes. There were, like, scenes of uh, the main character who, like, you know, got naked sometimes, stuff like that. But it wasn't in the sense of it being lewd. It was in the sense of, like... It, it felt natural, where, like, they would take a shower, but it felt more like a natural shower scene. Instead of, like, you know, the hyper, like, focusing on shit, it was it was literally just them taking a shower, and, like, the context for it actually made sense. But, like, let me go back and let me literally start with, like, the episode itself. So, the, the premise of the show, right, is that the main character, who used to be a guy, got turned into a girl. And they don't really explain how... He gets turned into a girl, like, if you look at trailers and stuff like that, it just says, like, oh, yeah, he got turned into a girl, and now his sister is going to help him go through life and stuff like that, like, as a new girl. And my idea with it, or at least the premise that I thought they were going to go with, was it was just going to be kind of, like, a random type of thing, where it's like, oh, one day he just woke up as a girl, and there's no explanation for it. This show gave explanation and you know what you know what's interesting about that that it blows my mind that they actually give explanations for why he got turned and the explanation is actually extremely funny and i didn't i wasn't expecting it either okay either i didn't pay attention to the trailers or descriptions enough or like they they did a really good job in hiding what this premise was supposed to be but basically the the basic idea of this was his sister, his oh, his younger sister, turned him into a, it turned him into a girl, because like before this he was like a the home security officer and he played like the Iro manga games and stuff like that and like he was a shut in he was a neat he was he was your basic bo- by the book neat and his sister decided to use him as a guinea pig because apparently she's like super smart super athletic she's apparent I would have to assume that for her to have the scientific ability to turn his her brother into a 11 or 12 year old middle schooler i would have to assume she's like a super genius either a super genius or like something that's like super impressive and they set his sister up as like this this super just this, this like really amazing person where it's like she's super athletic she broke records in middle school she went to college several years early like she's like this fucking overachieving fucking girl and then there's the brother that's like kind of nothing and like even though he's the older brother he still looks up to her in a sense like 
uh, hold on, I'm all over the place <laughs> with this because I'm, I'm genuinely surprised how good this first episode was. So, um, so yeah, that that's all. So first of all, that's like the whole premise and stuff like that. And when we're going through the motions, it doesn't feel like they're looting it. They're, like the scenes are forced, and more feels like, well, he's only been a girl for like what, like maybe a day at the at the most. Maybe, like, a day, maybe two days. Like, in, in the span of it, it might be, like, two or three days for the first episode, right? Um, because they tell, like, two or three separate stories for the first episode. So, we see, like, this whole overarching um, thing in the past two or three episodes where, like, they show certain scenes and stuff like that. But it's in the sense of it going through the motions. I'm fucking repeating myself, my apologies, but, like, he's still... He's still a guy. My point is that he's still a guy, right? He's still a guy. Um, at least at, at this beginning stage. Because I have a feeling, at least with the way they set up, he might lean more into staying this way and being the little sister and, you know, being a, little, being a you know, a, a, a smaller girl in a sense. Um, but they set this up in a way where... They can get away with it because it's the more the excuses of oh well he's he's still a guy, he's doing guy he's still doing guy things like there's a scene where like you know he's gaming and he's like oh shit I need to game to pee in the bottle but obviously he has to go because he can't you know he doesn't have the he doesn't have the the mechanics anymore in order to pee in the bottle or at least you know the properly pee in the bottle so he has to go to the bathroom and then like he, there's a scene where like you know he's about to he's about to grab his yeah, his mechanics, but he doesn't have those mechanics, so he's like, oh, I gotta switch and do this, so, like, they, it's, like, little nods where it's, like, okay, I, like, like, I see what I see, like, it's, like, oh, this, this makes sense because of this and that, they, I was not expecting the show to have reasoning, <laughs> I, I was not expecting the show to have reasoning, dead ass, I, this, I thought the show was just gonna be, like, a stupid, whatever, like, censorship type of thing, no, like, in terms of hiding stuff, they do it really well. With in terms of like how they do with the fucking um, anime stuff to make it feel natural, and it's not like the last anime we reviewed where it's just full on picture censorship. Um, everything's played off really naturally and really well. Like for for an anime that's not getting that much attention, it's like kind of no not low. But I think if you looked on like Mal's list, it's not like super high. This is. This is impressively good. Like, it's not super amazing, but it's, it's, it, like, it went above my expectations because I had low, I had low expectations going into this anime. Like, very, I want you to understand, I did not think this anime was going to, I, I, I was not thinking I was ever going to get invested in this anime. This already, it feels like it could be, like, a sleeper hit, especially since it's made by the same people who made it, uh, Tushoka Tensei. The same studio that made Jobless Reincarnation are the same people that's working on this. And dude, oh, first of all, ca character designs, fucking great. Like, personally for me, I haven't watched Jobless Reincarnation yet. I need to watch that before the second season comes out. But dude, that show, unironically, is so damn like it's it's nice and stylized, and they have the same stylization here. Like it's like like the, the cuteness level for this is off the charts. The sister, the the the, the technically younger sister, um, it's it her hair design and her whole costume and the way she looks, her design's great. The fucking um the brother turned sister design is great. Everything about it is great. Even the video game they play is great. Even the the out the, this whole anime is stylized so well. This anime, but like, overachieved for some fucking reason. I don't know why. I can't. Exp I cannot explain it to you. I genuinely. I'm just sitting here. I genuinely cannot explain it to you why this anime did so well. Genuine. Like it's 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 baffling. To me. <laughs> it's baffling to me how this anime did so well. Like sh like I shit you not. This is a. This is a really, this is a really good fucking, um, this is a really good way to do a lot of this concept of the show. Like, the show has reasoning for all the reasons it has, for all the, like, things it does. Like, it does, it, it's like, it does things with reason. It looks very stylized. The opening and ending songs are really fucking good. Like, it's not 
this is not a masterpiece. I want to put this... Okay, first of all, I'm basically just... I'm basing this off the first episode. The first episode, it's not a masterpiece, right? It's not good. But I think it going into it, I had such low expectations. So it doing all this, I think, is heightening my senses. I want to see... My big thing is when we go down, like, towards, you know, episode 5, episode 6. Like, when we get to the halfway point, I have no idea how many episodes this anime is supposed to have. But when we get to, like, that point right that like low point uh, not low point but like the midway point i want to i want to know how i feel I, i'm, I'm kind of curious as to how i feel about um this show because right now i think i'm just coming off an episode one high and it being like the first episode there's so much potential for this and i the thing i think the thing that baffles me the most which makes me kind of excited for it is that if it goes in, a, in an episodic format where they're just telling, like, random story after random story, I'm okay with that, right? I'm okay with that. But if this goes down, this this it's, this show is hinting, the first episode hints that there might be, like, more depth to this show in the coming episodes. And that gives me, and that is described in two scenes where it builds up to where, um, the little sister is taking out the older brother, technically, um, out of the house in order for them to do exercise. I'm like, you know, he's trying to catch up, and they make it, and it starts where this is where they set up the fact that, you know, she's super smart, she's super athletic, she's like the perfect human being, honestly. Like, if I'm being completely honest, they started out as like the perfect overachieving human being, and like he. Or she, or they, or what the fuck, I don't, I don't even know, she, right now she's a girl, so she, and she, the old, older brother slash now younger sister, is was the is, is the exact opposite, where he's a neat, right, he doesn't have a job, he doesn't do this, he doesn't do that, he doesn't do any of this shit, and he looks at him, and I think, and it sets up, because it's like one of those things where it's, he, and it feels like that he didn't become that way. Because, like, just naturally, or he wasn't always this way, it seems like this. they set it up where it's like they would constantly compare him to his younger sister and be like, oh, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you doing this? And it, sound, it sounds like those societal pressures and the people around him pushed him to be in need, where it's just like, well, I'm never going to reach that level, therefore, why am I even trying? And then there's a scene towards the very, very end where the f- the last few seconds of the of the episode, the anime sits on a clipboard, and the translation for it is is the rehabilitation, the Big Brother rehabilitation project. So there's the aspect of his feelings towards his sister, where it's it's not resentment because the at least when he's telling the story, he's more just like, you know, when I look at her. I have, it feels like I have no use. It feels like I'm like just kind of whatever. But now in this situation where I'm actually doing things, I'm actually out and I'm actually participating in something, it feels like I can actually, it feels like that I can sit there and I actually have a purpose in life. It, this, it feels like, like this, this situation that he's in now is giving him a purpose in life where it's like a kind of blessing in disguise type thing while the sister on her side is doing this in order to try to fix the little brother trying to fix trying to fix the older brother trying to fix him in order to be like well we got to re-motivate you and i think she's using this even though it's very extreme to try to motivate him to try to push him to do other things and i think that's actually cool and i want to know if those ideas are going to clash and <laughs> become a thing um or if it's just going to be kind of a one thing like it's kind of just setting up the dynamic or if they're actually going to play that out and have that grow to where like we get to episode like nine or ten and we get to those things and maybe he doesn't want to go back and she's telling him to or it, uh, one of those things where it's like you know I can't change like the like no matter what I try I can't do anything and the sister kind of trying to reaffirm the brother of that if that goes in that direction I'm going to be I'm going to be thoroughly fucking surprised but <laughs> as the way it is right now I am okay with this with this anime just being an episodic show. Like, if it's an episodic show, that's fine. I'm okay with it, honestly. 
it'll probably only get like a maybe a like a six or a five if that's the case because it's one it, it mostly because like it felt like they could have done more but if there's episodic it's fine it wouldn't be like a bad it's just one of those things where it's like yeah there was potential and they didn't follow it but that's fine that's not the worst case scenario i want them to follow this though like i might be i might be overblowing the fuck <laughs> out of this i'm gonna be completely honest with you i might be taking this anime and just blowing it way out of the water of a proportion so i'm gonna be completely honest with you and there's a chance there's a good fucking chance because i do this a lot so now that i have went into low expectations and then there's the first episode i might be giving this anime high expectations and i might get fucked who knows but this is a really good actual first episode i you know, there's a lot there's a lot of first episodes that I like don't where it's just like, oh yeah, whatever, give it a first three. This anime did a really good job. If you if you if you're curious about it, I would definitely say go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and watch the first episode. See how you feel, see how you like it. I personally was thoroughly, thoroughly impressed by what this anime did. It, it truly, it actually was a super, super good first episode i personally like it it was really fun it was really good it was really stylized i have high hopes for this anime i wish more people were paying attention to this but i kind of get it because there's there's a bunch of season dudes coming out tokyo revengers is coming out bungo shady dog is coming out like there's this miss nakataro season two is coming, there's a bunch of big shit so i'm not expecting this to be in everyone's ra radar but if you are looking for something new that's kind of impressive this season. You gotta remember that this looks really good. The first episode's great. This is made by the same studio who made uh, Mushoko Tensei, which also it gives it an extra point. Go out of your way to watch this, please. At least the first episode. That way I'm not... Tell me if I'm crazy. Tell me if I'm crazy and this anime didn't do everything I just said in this episode. <laughs> in, 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 in this video. Because I feel like it did. I This this is a really good first episode. This is a, this is a fantastic palate cleanser to the fucking... I am not Inukai's dog can't show. This, that show was worse than what I thought it was going to be. This show was better. So we can only go up for here, ladies and gentlemen. Because we got, what, well, we got Nier coming out. We got the season two Mr. Katoro. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be up from here. It's going to be up from here, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, that's all I got to say for this episode. Um, yeah, no, that's it. That's it for this episode. Um, yeah, catch me out next uh, tomorrow. We'll put out we'll do, we'll put out shows daily. So go ahead and subscribe for more of the season reviews. Twenty twenty three is gonna be the year of commitment content, people. So we're gonna be following through this. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.